Yo, yo, what's going on, world? This is Fitting and Saint Man. Welcome to the main ingredient. So today's main ingredient, this is going to be fairly easy. I mean, because I got a head start. I'm not even going to hold you on that. I got a head start. So before I set up, I was working on Can I Get, uh, get Love for Christmas by the Jackson 5. I was kind of like chopping it up because I heard it, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, I think I could do something with this. But let me try it this way. You know what I'm saying? So this is going to kind of remind you of like that. That early, you know, early dip set with the sped up chops. We're going to try that, all right? So we're going to use that and we're going to use uh, the Barry White joint, uh, Gonna Love You. So as, you know, for the, uh, the drum loop. And let's see what we can do. All right, let's, let's just get right into it. All right, so I already got the drum loop already set. All right, so here we go. Four bars. Let's get this. Let's get this. All right. Here we go. Yeah, some, yeah, I came in a little early on some of the stuff. That's why I was off beat. So let me just go ahead and fix that now. And then that's going to be the hook. And then I'm, I, got a, I got plans for the verse. All right, so let me just get that situated real quick. You know what I'm saying? And then you're going to hear what I came up with. You know what I'm saying? So I should have just pressed record on the camera. I mean, I had everything set up, but I didn't think I was going to use this joint, to be honest with you. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to catch it right. I didn't want to waste time. But then I just really got into it, and I was like, oh, this just might work. This just might work. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I got the drums at 85 BPM. I sped the vocals up to, you know, like to three. So I got it, you know, somewhat chipmunky style. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just stretch this out to eight bars and then just copy and paste that. Since it's going to be an eight bar loop hook, might as well set the stage. You know what I mean? So. Let me just get that going. Let me copy and paste that right now. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the drums and get that situated. And then we're done. And then we're going to start doing the verse. So, yeah. Okay. Here we go. All right. Let's work on that verse part. So, let's go to pattern two. Eight bars. Okay. Here we go. I forgot, hold on, it was, I forgot what I did, so I was. Oh, okay, I remember now, all right, I remember. Oops, I didn't erase it, sorry, here we go. Yeah, so you see, I kind of switched it up. I didn't want it to make it, you know, the same loop, so to speak, all the way around. So I kind of just reflipped the pattern of how I was knocking those pads out. So now let me just tighten it up and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so let me duplicate that. I'm going to do it to the hook and the verse too. And then I'm going to filter it, give it some bottom, and then I'm going to add some... Uh, bass to it and play a bass line under it. Okay. 
works out. Cool. All right, let's go fix pattern one and do the same thing. And then, then we all straight. Okay, hold on. I got to do this pattern one. So let me move that. Okay, here you go. All right, that's all. Okay, it's already set. straight let me go back to the first scene all right everything sounds good let's turn it up so all right so cool now i got that all situated i got that with the drums i'm gonna tighten up the drums a little bit more make it a little bit more uh just turn them up a little bit make them a little cleaner and then in the meantime let me just switch out my battery because i see the red light flashing and it's telling me yo i'm about to cut off so we're gonna be right back all right, so let me just hook up those drums. Let's get that sounding real nice. Let's get that sounding real nice. Yeah. Now I just got to turn it down a little bit. And bring everything back in. Something sounds off in the drums. I think I might have to break these up. Or just program program my own drums, maybe. Or maybe find another drum loop. Let's see if I can find another drum loop real fast. Hold on. Uh, cause let me see. Cause see those. I didn't really pay attention to the hi-hats in this. So it's hi-hats in the sample itself, and then it's hi-hats in the uh the drum loop so let me make a, another pattern i might let me see if i can just break this up and then recreate it Sounds way better. All right, let me try that. Let me try that. Just, just gotta be on time. Just gotta be on time, Dunny. Just gotta be on time. All right. <laughs> Now, last 
last thing I want to do, maybe I could snatch um, the hi-hat from it and then just kind of like get that right. So what I did there was I took just just that part and just made sure I laid it on time to coincide with the hi hats from the from the Jackson Five sample, and then I just uh, just changed it on the groups so I could stab it in so it doesn't cut anything off. So it's just going right on top of in between of you know what I'm saying. So yeah, all right. So let me just hear this beat one more time from the tippy. works for me. All right. So I think I got it. I don't think I need to add anything else to it. I mean, the sample did its job. You know, the chops did its job. You know, I like the drums. I probably could have did a little bit better, but, you know, I can always come back and fix that. I mean, at the end of the day, but I like the way it's going right now. And, you know, if anything, I can always go ahead and collab with another producer, maybe put some better drums on there, maybe come up with some other ideas. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, I'm just laying down the foundation here. But if you like this beat, remember, go to BeatStars.com slash the 1520s. BeatStars.com slash the 1520s. All the beats that I've made on this show are for sale right now. You can go check it out. Download them. You already know it's all exclusives. So let's get back to the music. And then, you know, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in every Monday at 9 o'clock here at buymeacoffee.com slash golden era music. Make sure you become a subscriber at youtube.com slash golden era music. Go shopping. Go to my web store right now, goldenevermusicinc.com, and subscribe there too. So you can get up to date news on new music, new merchandise. Come on, the gym flag is available right now. The hoodie is so dope. You know what I'm saying? So subscribe to all of that so you can get all the news as soon as it comes out. You know what I mean? And like I told you last week, the Jamington is available on vinyl, but we got a pre-order them right now. Okay? So I just started the campaign last week. We have to do pre-sales, and then it will be pressed and delivered to you by April because the 10 year anniversary of the Jamington is March 6, 2022 I should have started a month ago but you know, here we are so I started in November 
to do the campaign so we can get everything sent out. So you will get your joints probably the first or second week of April. But order that right now. The link is on the bottom. Go there right now. Pre-order the Jamington. It's the first time we ever had vinyl at Golden Era. The first time I ever had vinyl. So it's only fitting that the first album on Golden Era and the first album I ever had to be on vinyl is actually going to happen. So let's go get that done. All right. And then, um, of course, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Finney and St. Omer. Follow my label at Golden Era Music. It's Golden Era Music Inc. Sorry. Yeah. On, on, uh, on Instagram. And, and that's it. That's it. I'm ready to go. You know what I mean? Had a good time. This was fun. I hope y'all enjoyed it. See y'all next week, Monday at 9 o'clock. This is the main ingredients. I am Finney and Santa Maria, the 1520s. Peace.